And we start with three big things to know about COVID-19 right now. First, first responders are honoring one of their own, Colorado paramedic Paul Carey. He was volunteering in New York City when he contracted COVID-19. He died last week, and first responders here in New York honored his memory last night with a procession and service. Second, Colorado's next phase of Safer at Home starts today. 50% of non-essential employees can go back to work. Offices must follow state guidelines for cleaning and health of their workers. Many of the state's most populated counties, however, will not be doing this. Instead, they've extended their stay at home orders. And finally, the state announced 10 more deaths due to COVID-19, and that makes a total of 842. 90% of those who died were people aged 60 or older. We also saw more than 400 new positive cases. Colorado has more than 16,000 in all. More than 700 people are currently in the hospital. One of the largest bison producers in Colorado is feeling the impacts of COVID-19. Rocky Mountain Natural Meat supplies meat to more than 500 grocery stores across the state. John Glasgow is working from home. And John, this company has really seen quite the swing in production since March. That's right, Corey. The CEO of Rocky Mountain Natural Meat says that the production just skyrocketed in March. Then some of their workers caught COVID-19, and that caused a slowdown at their production facilities. Now, Rocky Mountain Natural Meat supplies grocery stores, including Costco, King Supers, Target, and Whole Foods, just to name a few. The plant is operating at 60% capacity after 17 employees tested positive for COVID-19. Some of them are still off the job after the first case was reported March 20th. The company says it will process about 100 bison a day from the local ranches. Retail sales are up, but restaurant business is down 25%. The company says that there's a lot of animals in the market right now, but plant production slowed at their facilities and some of the bigger operations too. So they're only killing half the cattle they were killing historically. So there's a backlog of animals and there's a lack of uh, pounds coming out of those plants. That's the break, I believe, is what they're speaking of. As you can see there, they're taking social distancing very seriously since some of their workers caught COVID-19. Corey, Rocky Mountain Natural Meat says that despite the slowdown at the plants, they don't expect many shortages at the grocery store. They believe that they will be able to keep up with the supply chain. Seeing quite the high and quite the lows right now. All right, John, thank you. All right, thanks, John. I have more of your top stories on COVID-19 today. Fort Collins is going to require you to wear a mask in public. Larimer County as a whole had that mandate go into effect on Sunday. Denver's mask mandate starts on Wednesday, Lone Tree's on Friday. Wheat Ridge, Boulder, Summit County, Aspen and Glenwood Springs already require you to wear masks. The Department of Motor Vehicles is going to begin gradually reopening in the state. The DMV will open 19 offices across the state, some today, others on Wednesday. You need to make an appointment if you're going to go. Jefferson Open Space, Jefferson County Open Space Rangers had to temporarily close the parking lot at Deer Creek Canyon Park on Sunday. Too many people were jamming the road into that area. It did reopen about an hour later. More than $175 billion will go to small businesses for loans. The Small Business Administration says the money is being used from the second round of loans under the Payroll Protection Plan. In Colorado, the SPA approved more than 46,000 loans for small businesses just last week. And the Colorado Department of Labor is still holding virtual town halls this morning to answer questions about unemployment benefits. One in English will start at 9:10, one in Spanish at 11:30. Online and call-in information will be on the department's website.